Now guys, Piggy Dippers are going and we're back in Stratford on Avon. We've been having a couple of good weeks here, so we thought we'd come back. There's an old train bridge down that way. And then we're literally at the back of Holy Trinity Church where William Shakespeare is bedded. So and Affleway. And down Affleway. Um anyway, we're gonna do this part of the river. I'm gonna go down to the bridge I think and uh, see what comes out. So see you in a minute guys. surprises me you know what's in these waterways uh, that's mad okay. uh. <laughs> that's the uh, other wheel off the bike In the... I just wanted to show you something everyone, um, I've had one since the day we started Peak and Dippers to be honest, but most recently I uh, lost it, I stuck on something and we just couldn't get it back so I've had to get another one, but yeah, you see the uh, grappling up from online magnets, I've had, as I say I've had one for years, easy to carry around He's put in my box. You just unscrew them, drop them down, screw it back. There you go. There you go. And as you can see, it's got grooves in so it'll grasp onto things. But yeah, it's so handy, especially if it's stuck on a safe or something. Um, and as I say, easy to carry. Oh yeah, use Peaky 10, <laughs> don't treat yourself. So, go. Just pulled that out. Uh, I'm not sure what it is to have not the crud off, but yeah, it's got to be right in there, but it's off a bike or something, I'm presuming. Not at all. But yeah, you can see that there. It's modern, so. I just pulled up something really lovely and where does it date to? I don't know, but yeah, it's a little bell. Very dainty little bell. Oh, it's lovely. Just noticed it on my magnet. Right guys, the rest of us are here, it's just Marie's been hogging the camera today. <laughs> <laughs> and you've done better than me. Well I wanted some history today, I've got an old video. Right. Now check out my wheels. Did you get them? Yeah, I pulled both of them out. Whoa, look at those. No, with a little help from Aaron. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the people who got the done? We are, yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. Wow. Oh, 
Wow. And if you check this out, I don't know if you can see it, this is off a horse and cart. And it says Lucy and Nephews Limited. Look at that. Now Aaron did a little Google search and Lucy and Nephews Limited went into liquidation in the early 1990s. But we have found out that all of this here used to be a grain mill. And it was Lucy and Nephews. No. Yeah. So this was one from one of their grain carts. See, history coming out. But you've done loads better than me up here. Because oh, of I, of I was down there somewhere. See there? That's where I was yeah, just. But uh, yeah, I've been fishing off this little footbridge. <laughs> and as you can see, there's loads Look. of uh, cast scrap as well. There's a lot for the scrap, man. Look at this so far. But yeah, these could be repurposed into uh, garden cannons. Oh yes. <laughs> so. I'm well happy. I wanted history today and we've got some history. Perfect. So Marie will do a little, um, uh, no doubt put a little introduction in into uh, Lucy and Nephews Limited. Yeah, probably get, might get some old pictures. Yeah. Some old pictures of it yeah, actually be being used. this to the cart that, that came off. Yeah. Oh, that would be nice, wouldn't it, to put some old pictures on. Oh, that would be awesome if we can get some 1900s uh, photographs of the old horse and cart. <laughs> one of them's on it, that'll just make it wonderful. Oh, definitely. But yeah, we'll be back to you shortly. <laughs>
could be untold The past is written in stone Though I'm growing old It can never be untold The past, it is written in stone pulled that out so not sure what that's off yeah it's unusual right we're just shifting scrap guys so this is what uh, Glenn pulled out earlier it's an old pay phone and still got the cash drawer in never been opened by the looks of it Bingo. But I'm not getting a very good reception, so I'll stick to the iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> and look, it's like a conveyor belt, passing it up to the roadside. <laughs> and it's every, some every stuff. Right, and we've got somebody off of Group Stratford History then and now or something. And he's reached out because we'd like somebody to come and rescue these and possibly restore them we, we don't like history being scrapped obviously but yeah if somebody can come and, and uh, fetch those today that would be a bonus okay guys so we've uh, come down to the back of Strat Stratford um, the theatre William Shakespeare theatre so we're going to do directly behind it and uh, it's Meckle. It's Meckle in there. We're gonna get some Meckle out. Deep. It's only about three foot at the edge. You can see the bottom. Ooh. Oh. So that's all some goodies. I told you to see a nice bottom today. Hee <laughs> <laughs> Down there. Hell yeah. You should have gone to Specsavers. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna do a long here, guys. Really nice. Beautiful Ooh, look, day look. again. Oh, and there's a pub. <laughs> <laughs> and a bandstand. And a band, yes, and a bandstand. Get the girls doing a bit of pole dancing in there. And an ice cream man, Nige. Proverb that the ice creams are very expensive over here. <laughs> so, I don't think we have an ice cream. Yes, they are more than a pound now, Glenn. It's not just two. I thought there was 99s. I thought you could no, get 99s. No, he's money. I'll just give him 100 quid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I'd only, get, I'd only get about two ice creams out of that round here. It's all right, me and Steve will be okay. <laughs> <laughs> more in pin. And a vibe. <laughs> oh, that was a. Here we go, guys. We've got a catapult. Probably a fisherman's one for launching uh, bait out into the water, but there we go. Okay. Carbon monoxide alarm. Right guys, we've got a wheel disc and on the other end of this rope there's a brick. As you do. <laughs> It's a wobbling. Why would that be why not? Why would that be why not? I'm going all the top finds today. We've got an accurist watch. It's not working though. <laughs> Oh, no. 
Look, and more of this cheap and nasty, horrible Indian jewellery. It just crumbles up on your magnet. Also had an extension bar for a socket. Right? <laughs> <laughs> to be or not to be. <laughs> Here we go, we've got Shakespeare's old microphone lock. <laughs> no, it's actually, uh, I think it's a drain cover. Of some sort. Unusual. Viva Las Vegas! So that could be off a of Viva, so uh, it's just a plain metal one. But a uh, wheel hook, so I'll give that to JD, he can have that. Then it's down here at the middle. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Found you it? But I got a spoon. I got a wibbly wobbly. Bit of scrap. A handle, a bucket handle, and a bracket. More of this cheap tat. It's horrible stuff. And has anybody got a <laughs> pack in their hands? I've got that. Account? Look at that. Ooh. And. <laughs> and that. It's a wonder somebody ain't near that name, I treat. A strap. Not belt thing, anyway. And look. There you go, the rod rest. That's that. And. Corkscrew. There you go. Don't think there's a knife in it. It's just a corkscrew. Well, I am actually here, guys, but it's been a rusty shower today, so. Um, a metal spike. That's all I found so far. He is fishing today, he's just yeah. finding nothing. There's nothing coming out, it's, which is a good thing. It's the rusty show today. It is. <laughs> but it's a good thing nothing's coming out because it shows well, down it's clean. Yeah, it shows it's clean. Yeah. But he's right outside of the Stratford music, well, uh, theatre. Theatre, yeah. So yeah. people from all over the world come out so they don't want it to mess away, so it's a big drink. But oh, I've got this inkling, because that's our bridge in the last two weeks, guys. I've got an inkling if we move more that way, I reckon more will come out. That's what I'm just thinking of doing. Mm. Help everybody. First throw, we've got um, fishing lure, you know, wibbly wobbly, Marie's favourite. Don't know what that is, like a stud thing. And do you want to pan the camera over? Yeah. Because uh, I don't want to carry I'll, this I'll, over. I'll come over and bring this over, oh, Mr okay. Fox. Uh, there we go, let's slide you off. Slide you off the stand. And very first throw, when apparently they told me there wasn't anything in here, <laughs> they missed this six foot bike. <laughs> and uh, a load of jewellery with some coconuts. Oh, yeah, I'm getting fibers. loads of jewellery. Oh, I know you've had that stuff. Yeah. Good all, so Mr. Right Fox. For the first throw. Definitely. And that thing, whatever that thing is. <laughs> I'll be back in a minute. Just give me just a couple more throws and I'll find something else. The wibbly wobbly's been in there that long, there's no wibble left. It's gone hard. 
Il est pas là de fichier. And I did have a fancy rollick as well. That is a fancy one. I've oh, just had the pieces of iron there, guys. Look at that. Look at the shape of this. It's got a little gothic, gothic shape. It's a cell padlock. And that piece with a strap. Some kind of strap on. So. <laughs> Don't call me that, you padlock. <laughs> <Sorry. laughs> We've got a padlock, it's not very old. I've just got to do it. I've got to do it. Camera on, please. Yes, it's on. So here we are in uh, Stratford. I've pulled up a coin. 2p or not 2p? This is the question. Oh, that is the question. <laughs> <laughs> I've managed to go three weeks without that joke. Oh, no. <laughs> it had to be done. It had to be done. Now, what I can see. That is actually a bunch of keys in crud, as far as I can see. So yeah, check your crud, as Glenn would say. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that looks like what that looks like a bunch of keys. Almost check your crud. Well, this one didn't pay off, but I got like a little circle thing there. Look. Who remembers these? Trying to take the uh, top 40 on a Sunday night and your brother would walk in the room and make a noise. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going uh, to do an interview with Northampton Magnet Fishing. There's treasure over here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're not going anywhere you without finding out. What you, you got? You need to hurry up. <laughs> what <laughs> you got? Um, you're causing the hold up on the bridge. <laughs> yeah. Can you get me uh, like a, a so we got Can you get me like a stick or something? Like a, something to mash this with. Yeah. Right. Oh, it's hang on. Oh, it's Just a minute. Yeah. I've got a pair of pliers. No, we sent them. Uh, the uh, armed police came and took them. Yeah. It's illegal to own them. So they what? have uh, kept the one, haven't they, the place, to put in a museum or something? There, go, there it goes. He's out. Well, nine times out of ten they are, but I guarantee we don't drink it one time and uh, it'll have everything in. You do get them from time to time with jewellery and stuff in. Can write this down and take it to school. I think someone's yeah. taking them again. I think they've filled it with bricks. <laughs> Come on, Glenn, you've got an audience. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what we all know is there are a million quid in there. Oh. Oh, it's the best way to open it is to slam them on the floor, but everybody will get covered. <laughs> I won't get too close, and this case gets clashed. Go on, Steve. Do you want the key? <laughs> <laughs> After all that. <laughs> See, I think someone's uh, filled it with pebbles on purpose and then chucked it in. Oh, it'd be nice, but it'd be still like that. Oh, I don't know, like ten reefs happening, does he? Oh, the fucking oh. drawers come out. Oh, oh he's got it. Oh. 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 Oh.
Do some on diamond. Yeah. You've got a diamond in half. <laughs> well, yeah, nothing in it, guys. But you've always, you've always got it. You've always got to check. Sorry, you're on camera. Oh, am I? Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, you're on camera. We were all. Oh, I mean, oh, I was, no. And I was in hiding. If you wanted. Don't tell the husband. Don't put me on. <laughs> Right, now that, yeah, I've rolled that up, but that is the world's longest clutch cable, I think. Yeah. Wow. Why is this Mr. YouTuber? Mr. YouTuber. Oh, let's all get together. Oh, that's as stuck as a bloody preach dick <laughs> <laughs> Hang on a minute, let me get the other one. There we go, in we go. Well, I can break cold water better, but. Oh, dear. It's all right, mate, you'll get that when they bark. All that, just because they were stuck and I went along with it. Oh. The fighting behind the, the camera. Oh, you were, Marie's you just. Got the through the hook on the really wall. picking up the I know that. He changed the angle, he told you that. <laughs> Well, that looks like it's another padlock. <laughs> <laughs> what you got? What you got? We don't know, it's got like a... Yeah. That's a What's lens. That? That's definitely a lens. That's a boat lens. So like an, on, an underwater lens then? Yeah. I don't know. No idea. Hmm? Hmm? That is a nice piece of glass though, isn't it? Ah. It's a nice piece of something. Yeah. Heavy, is it? Is Heavy? It? Oh, yeah. It we don't, it we don't often have to get two magnets on something. It wasn't especially heavy. It was just awkward when it kept dropping it, it's off. probably because it's full of water, actually, because yeah. you, you're pulling that up as well. What is That's it? nice, isn't it? We don't know. That's... Are you going magnet fishing? Yeah. No, we're already here. I love... <laughs> I love... <laughs> I reckon that's some kind of... Nav why is my imagination going? Run, run, Navigation run. lights. Oh, over there, or you know, like when they, they use like a, a spirit level bubble for stuff. Oh, compass, you mean? Yeah, um, a like navigation a compass. Christopher Columbus and all well, that. I mean, that's only really bad. It's not like Steve or now he's about to mention Steve! Rusty! Oh, he's gone for a wee there. I don't know, but that's nice. I ain't gonna throw that. No, it's no, good. definitely not. That's definitely something to, go, to take home and have a look Some at. Some Roman pots, right? But these, <laughs> these brackets, this was attached to something. There's two. There's one down, there's three, three brackets, so that, this was on something. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you drop it. And these are screws here, look. Do you think you Glenn? can find the other half of the Yes. Way? So you could undo, if you can get this cleaned off, you might be able to get this apart and find out, clean this out, whatever yeah, was in there. Yeah, that's isn't it? Well, it might do, Do you think yeah. you'll find the other piece in I'll find a little parrot. Obviously a magnet. And I've also had... Uh, which got latched around the magnet, this bag. There we go. It's all leaking, so I'm going to get rid of it. That's going to go in the rubbish. <laughs> We've got some kind of hoop as well. I ain't got a clue what it is. But, uh, yeah, big hoop. It's split at the top. bike wheel as well. Look how shredded that is. So yeah, I think we're going to quit now guys. I think we're going. Um, best find for this video I think is probably the navigation light. So I'm going to clean that up and let's see what it's like. It might be really nice. It might fall to bits but we'll try. So, not been the best day for finds but we've cleared out a lot of rubbish from the river which is good. Um, it's not always about the finds. So, See on the fines. Well, what we've got anyway. See you soon, guys. No. The fines roundup. Hi, everybody. Peaky Dippers. 
Welcome back, welcome to the premiere and thank you for taking the time out tonight to come and join us. So we uh, done the last stint in Stratford didn't we? Yep. And um, very busy bridge and we keep getting asked questions why the bridge is busy. The reason is, is because there's only one walk bridge across the river in Stratford that takes people across and Stratford's a touristic area. So that's nothing compared to what the summer will be. There'll be hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of people walking across that bridge. Obviously, it's the birthplace of Shakespeare, so people from all around the world get to talk to us, don't they, on that bridge? Yeah. Anyway, so we had some finds. Uh, we've had bits and bobs. We've not had nothing absolutely brilliant, but I'll show you what we've had. And I shall start off with the watch. So... One of us found an Accurist watch, Accurist quartz. Obviously, it's not a Rolex, nothing like that, so it won't be kept. It's just uh, bring everything back to show you guys. None of this, again, has been cleaned up. I've been that busy building a bar for the back garden, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, so I've been very busy doing that and I haven't had a chance to clean them, so I do apologise in advance. Then we've got a Rolex. But it's, it's a, a fancy, posh Rolex. I was say, it's a fancy, yeah. it's a fancy Rolex, isn't it? It's a fancy Rolex. But these Rolex, to be fair, <laughs> Rolex, it's a funny word, isn't it? Um, these Rolex, to be fair, the, um, if you cut them down like that, they, they do make, if you can get a matching pair, because they come in different sizes, they do come in handy for holding stuff. You can make, um, like, uh, like, displays. Displays stuff. with them and stuff like that. So I've got ideas for these Rolex. Um, and obviously, if you don't know what a Rolex is, it's what goes on the side of the boat and it holds the horn in. <laughs> um, bunch of keys. See, check your crud. Big ball of crud, Marie pulled up. And if you look there... It's got loads of keys in it, isn't it? It's got loads of little old keys. Um, they ain't proper old as well. Trouble is with some of these is by the time you've tried to clean them up they do break um, and I've got hundreds of keys outside anyway so I might not keep, I'll try and rescue them but if not it's no loss really. Steve, Mr Forrest found a catapult, whether this is a fishing catapult or a normal catapult, it's very big for uh, fishing but mind you that river is very wide. So sure. you'd probably want a good distance on that, wouldn't you? But uh, yeah, no, I'll catapult. Um, as I say, guys, check your crud. Um, I, did bring, I did bring two chunks of crud back to show you what they look like, uh, more so, when you find them. And these usually have little things, in, little gems in there, really. Um, we've had some of our nice little finds in them. These ones, unfortunately, I have tapped them about and they are just iron ore. They're just lumps of metal. So uh, they come off an old foundry or something like that and they've just floated down the river over the years. So, yeah, there's nothing in them. But they're always worth bringing back just to tap off and see what's inside them. I pulled a bird. Yeah. I pulled a bird in uh, Stratford, yeah. Oh. Yeah. This one. <laughs> <laughs> A uh, little parrot, obviously a magnet on the back, fridge magnet, because it stood to the magnet. And uh, yeah, so when I told Marie on the diver I pulled a bird, she wasn't very happy. And then I, I said, this one. <laughs> <laughs> there was a bit of a inner city violence going on, wasn't there Marie? Until I cracked, you know. Yeah, because she was all having me on, you little buggers. I know, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so there you go, little parrot. Rusty Peaky found a, uh, I've got about three or four of these now, and this is uh, the old cuckoo clock, uh, pendulum weights. Um, I don't know if you can see the detail in that, but they're like, they're ridged, they're like, uh, like an old acorn, no, not an acorn, like a, you know, like a, a weather cone, I suppose. But uh, yeah, so that's one of them, and I've got about three or four of them now. I think the other three I pulled out of Cambridge, and this one was out of Stratford, so... That's that. We've got this little slidey gate thing here. We think it's potentially off 
an old stove um, or a fireplace, something like that. And I think you would have slid that up, you know, to get the ashes out and stuff like that. So it's an old slidey thing. But we are going to clean this up, aren't we, Marie? Yeah. And I think we're going to, if I can build a little house for it, we're going to have a little fairy house in the garden. And this can be the doorway. Oh, yeah. Mm, That's so, true. Paint yeah. it up. Yeah. Because yeah. Marie's obviously getting to, we've got a pond in the back garden, guys, and Marie's going to put little bits and bobs around the pond, little bird houses and stuff like that. And she can have it where there's all like nature and, you know, fairies. <laughs> we found this thing. Now, guys, please comment on this one because I'm still flummoxed over what it is. It's probably something really simple. There is a little brass uh, turning doll there. And I've still got two big lumps of crud to knock off each side. But I thought it was a drain cover at first. But I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's off the top of a hob, off the top of a cooker, or what, to be honest. But uh, if anyone can drop a comment and let me know what that might be. But it is cast iron, it's not very heavy, it's very thin. If I was to eat that with a hammer, it probably would snap it. And it really helps with your comment, guys. It does, yeah. Um, yeah, it really it helps us out. If it wasn't for the subscribers, a lot of the things we, we probably chuck and not realise what it was. Last and foremost is, um, I had an old, we thought it was a navigation lamp, or navigation light for the bridges for the river, for back in the day because there would have been two lane traffic on the river and you would have had red lights and green lights obviously stop and go um, but this one came out I pulled this up and it was damn awkward to get out I think it's lovely I'm going to try and clean it up um, we'll see how it goes Marie wants it for the garden um, at first I thought it was like what medium was you or clairvoyance <laughs> but, um, yeah, it looks like an old navigation lamp. I've looked on Google, I can't find anything that looks like it. The nearest thing I can find is a ship's blast light. So it could come off a ship and somebody's reused it on, on a, a riverboat in, in the past. But I'm not going to lift it up because it's heavy, so I'll get Marie just to pan across. There we go. So it's got one, two, three legs. Well, I wouldn't say legs, that brackets, but it would have been held onto the wall. And it would have been like that, basically. But that glass is really thick. Obviously, it's blast proof. So it's really thick. And I suppose, as well, because the glass is so thick, is it that an inch? It acts as a lens. On that side? Yes, that's an inch, so you can lift that piece up. That's the lock to hold it that down. It's so they could have changed whatever was inside the bulb or whatever. But that glass is so thick, guys. Because obviously they would need the magnification for the light, so you can see it from a distance. So that is really thick glass. It's not, it's not very thin at all. Uh, so that is glass as uh, acting as a lens as well. So yeah, I will probably clean that up uh, as much as I can, and I'll, I'll try and get it open. Because once I can get it open, then we can see what's inside, and I will do a follow up on this one. I know I keep saying I'll do follow ups, guys, but. Time is of the essence at the moment. I'm, I'm, I'm emptying houses, I'm, I'm building my bar in the garden, I'm doing jobs around the house, and I am just a normal human being. I've got a lot of jobs I do besides um, the fines. So if I can get this open, I will put it on a follow up, either on a, a short, or I could even put it on a, just on photos on the community so you can all see it. So yeah, that one's probably a revisit. All the rest of it, we'll make use of it. Whatever, don't get used to going to the scrap. And I make a scrap part for the scrap man up and I put it out on the wall. And he goes, took it. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you ever so much for following us and uh, joining us tonight. Really appreciate it. Um, it's a big shout out, really, to all our new subscribers. Yep. Um, look out for next week's video. Wednesday and Thursday. We'll have a double whammy. One Wednesday, one Thursday. Uh, the Wednesday one will be before Nigel's premiere. Uh, then Thursday, next Thursday will be the normal time for us. So, look out for them videos, guys, because there's one there from last year, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, uh, it's a bit different. Um, 
And if you're a Marie fan, then it's probably got Marie on the most. So, <laughs> <laughs> which is a good thing, I suppose. But uh, yeah, guys, thank you ever so much, and good evening to you all. And see you on the next one. Thank you.